on one of the most important nights in Danish politics, the night of the Danish general election. The leading operator, TDC, could provide uplink rates with LTE solutions for one of the largest TV stations in the country. Something that a 3G network couldn't do. And as a strategic partner to Ericsson, TDC sees enormous growth potential with LTE. In general, I would say that machine-to-machine uh, -machine communications, both on 3G and on 4G, is a market that's growing uh, explosively, if you like. And uh, we're looking at everything that's possible there. Danish TV2 has tested LTE for some time now and sees it as the future when it comes to delivering the news. On the historic election night when Denmark elected its first female prime minister, a range of new opportunities opened up for TV2. At the election night, what we did unique was that we were using for our two motorbikes. So we actually, with a backpack, able to transmit back to the studio with a live stream. And, and we were, had all the mobility that we wanted. We were able to go anywhere in the city centre and transmit the studio quality back. And that's really a unique situation. The technology is, is driven the journalism, not the opposite way around. Um, you, you need to find new, unique ways to, to actually be able to, to broadcast live. That's what we do when we travel to Japan for what is going on there, to, to, to Afghanistan and so on. We, we need small units, small crews, which is able to transmit from everywhere in the world. Um, but we also need that on a local scene and national-wise. The new uh, female uh, prime minister, when she came out from her house, um, our photographer just jumped on the motorbike and were riding next to, to her on her way to her party. And that was a brilliant moment because that was the moment where, yes, this works. And it was all on LTE.